This was Mikhail Saakashvili's first public appearance in Georgia since his return from exile and arrest. The former president is accused of violently dispersing anti-government protesters and raiding an opposition TV channel while in office. Weakened by a 50-day hunger strike, Saakashvili addressed the international community in English about his prison treatment. This was a classical case against me of torture, inhuman and degrading behavior that inflicted lots of damage on me personally and on my nation. Outside the court, Saakashvili's supporters listened to the proceedings on social media. They believe it's a show trial. This is a disgrace for the country, for the institution of the president, and for our ability to um, go forward as a society and pursue our Euro Atlantic goals. I mean, prospects of Georgia joining the European Union look rather gl grim uh, when presidents are being prosecuted on political grounds. There were scuffles as police dispersed protesters who had blocked traffic. Fifteen people were arrested. The drama of the proceedings going on inside the court have been somewhat overshadowed by the chaos ensuing outside when police did their best to try to stop Mikhail Saakashvili's supporters from blocking both roads into and out of the city. Mikhail Saakashvili came back to Georgia from Ukraine after eight years in exile, but was arrested on the 1st of October. He has returned to a divided country between those who believe Georgia is now controlled by a pro-Russian oligarch and those who want Saakashvili to serve time for crimes they say he's committed. The government insists Saakashvili will get a fair trial. His rights will be fully protected by the legislation of Georgia. As it happens, today he has had the opportunity to appear in court before the Georgian judiciary. His supporters don't expect justice, and nor does Saakashvili. His best defense was this confession. It was a mistake that in government we failed to create an independent justice system. It affected many of my compatriots, and now it affects me. The former president used this opportunity to address the Georgian public directly. His hope is that somehow they, and not the court, will decide his fate. Robin Forestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Tbilisi.